Hello techies. In this session, we will learn how to extract the tables from the PDF by using extract tables from PDF action, which is available under PDF actions. All right. Before that, let me show you a small scenario. Let me go to the PDF. In my PDF, I am having Woodgrove Bank construction funding draw request, which is in PDF format, has done by the robot. Right. In my PDF, if you see, I'm having tables over here, right? Such as owner name, property address, builder name, draw amount, and loan amount, which is available in one table. Another one is the budget category, where you will find plans, foundation, excavating, water tap, flooring, HVAC. These are all the amounts which we have in the particular PDF, which has been done for the draw request. Right. Along with that, there you can see I'm having some text of the bank details such as Woodgrove Bank construction funding draw request. This is the text. If you observe in this PDF, I'm having a text as well as two tables. I'm having it now to extract the text. I'm going to use extract text from PDF action. But whereas my scenario is that I want to extract only the data which is having in the tables. Right. In that case, how can I go ahead and do that? Now to extract the data which is available in the tables or to extract the tables from the PDF, I'm going to use extract tables from PDF action. Let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace. Now the main purpose of this action is to extract tables from the PDF file, which we are going to provide. Now, if you see the parameters, the first parameter is the PDF file. Now we have to choose the PDF file that we want to extract the tables from the particular PDF file. I'm going to select a file by selecting select file variable. And then I'm going to the particular location where I'm having the PDF file. I'm going to select Robert. That is the PDF. I'm going to select that. Now at the second parameter, if you see the pages to extract in my PDF, I'm having a single page there. You can see one out of one pages that I'm having it, but if there are many pages are available more than one in that case, if I want to extract the tables which are available in all the PDF, then I'm going to select extract all. That is the option I'm going to select all or else if I want to select from the particular page, then I'm going to select single. For instance, suppose if I'm going to select single page, I'm going to give the single page number. In my case, I have to give one over here or else if I want to select the range over here. If I want to extract from page to page, in that case, I'm going to give the page numbers over here. For an example, if I'm having 10 pages in my particular PDF, if I want to extract only the range between one to five pages, in that case, I, I will give from page as one and two pages as five over here. All right. Now, what I'm going to do, the page extract, I'm going to select all because of I'm having a single page over here. All right. Now, the advanced parameters, if you see over here. Now, the PDF is password protected. In that case, I'm going to use the password over here. Now, if you see the another parameter, merge tables that cross page margins. If I am having a table which is more than one page, in a such cases, if I'm having the budget, budget category in a such a way it is crossing more than one page, like page number one and page number two. In that case, if I want to cross page the margins in that case, I'm going to enable this action. Now, if you see in my PDF once again, now the first line over here in the particular table, it will come at the columns over here, right? This is the budget category and the other one is the amount. In that case, the first line, I'm going to make it as column names. In that case, I'm going to enable this toggle button over here. Once the data has been retrieved by using extract table from PDF, I will store the output in the variable named extracted PDF tables. All right, let me click on save. Now let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started. Now the flow has executed successfully. Now if you see on the right hand side, I'm having flow variables with the name of extracted PDF tables. Let me double click on that. There you can see. I'm having list of PDF tables information, which is number and the item, right? There are two tables in my PDF. 
let me keep it side by side to make you understand there you can see in my first table i'm having owner name property address builder name draw amount loan number right in my pdf table one in page number one with four rows and two columns right four rows that you can see property address builder name draw amount loan number the reason is that why only we are having four rows over here the first row we have considered as columns over here there you can see if i go for click on more and then again you can see over here i'm having the first column there you can see owner name as columns it has been came right the owner name robert leon that is the column name it has been considered and the remaining four rows you can get it as the output over here this is about the first table now if you go back once again i am having another table right let me click on more in my second data table i am having budget category and the amount as the columns right this is columns and the you can see over here six rows and two columns are there one is plants foundation excavating water tap flooring hvac and the respective amounts has been extracted into the particular variable that is extracted pdf tables all right let me click on close now as an additional scenario i'm going to display this table what is the data that we have i'm going to use for each action to iterate through the list of items which are available in the flow variable that is extracted pdf table let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace now the main purpose of this scenario is that i want to show the extracted pdf files in the message box so that's the reason i'm going to use for each and it will iterate through the extracted pdf files over here if you see the parameters value to iterate i'm going through the flow variable right that is extracted pdf table and then each and every time it will store the output in the variable that is current item let me click on save now to see the output which we are having in the flow variables i'm going to use the action that is display message action let me drag and drop this action onto the workspace inside for each action for the display message i'm going to give the parameters message box title as pdf table and the message to display i'm just going to display the pdf in a current item all right of the data table okay let me select that i'm going to click on save now once again let's run the flow to see the output flow execution started as the first step it is trying to extract the tables from the pdf and it will store the output in the flow variables that is extracted pdf tables once after extracting there you can see it is going through the extracted pdf files and it is going to display the current items that is the first table right that is the property address and you can see the details over there right let me click on okay now at the second table you can see i am having the categories right and it is going to display the amounts which we have extracted from the particular pdf all right let me click on okay the flow has executed successfully i hope you understand how to extract tables information from the pdf by using extract tables from pdf action as part of this tutorial